My God, there's some sort of stench in here. I hate these impromptu rural campaign press conferences. I don't think that's regular barnyard stench. It smells a little more sinister. <clears throat> we appreciate your patience as the candidate makes his way to the podium. We appreciate your patience. Ladies and gentlemen, the next president of the United States, Governor Mitt Romney. Mitt sir, zombie. over here. No, over, over here, sir. Okay, lights up. Sorry to be late for Bavarian days here in your great state of your great city of I love this state. I love this state. The flesh is just about right. I mean the fresh breeze. The breeze is just about right. First question. Governor, your campaign seems to be slipping. Your poll numbers are Come a little closer, dear. I can't quite hear you. Come very close, and I'll try to meet you halfway. Your poll numbers. <clears throat> yes, my so-called poll numbers. Believe me, we'll do better as Americans realize that what we're proposing is for our own good. The 47 who have no responsibility and judgment need to just stay home and let my supporters sweep in a new age of responsibility of lower taxes. But sir, the poll numbers don't, don't seem to bear out. with poll numbers, with so-called facts. This isn't about facts, it's about faith. Have faith in me, for I will lead you to new days and let's, let's have another question, a real question this time. Governor, I'd like to ask you about military expenditures. We already spend more than the rest of the world combined. But you seem to want to spend more in the Steropole wounds Jim. that have opened up. Jim Hightower, how you doing, bud? Haven't seen you in a long time. Still stirring up the commies, eh? <laughs> I'll tell you about old wounds, about scabs. In fact, step a little closer so we can talk more about this. In fact, I'll try to come over there. <laughs> Governor, please. Uh, can we uh, can we get another question that's more of a question? Okay, enough! You hush now! I don't need any more handlers. Handling. I've had too much handling. I do everything I have to to be president. I ride around on an airplane, back and forth. Windows that won't roll down to let in any fresh air. No hand crank like the old ramblers. I put on this silly Bavarian jacket for Bavarian days. What do I have to do to just get the presidency I deserve? Get my chance to run this place like a business with lower taxes and higher profits for all. A smaller government, a larger Bavaria. I mean America. Sir, please. Now you hush, you hush now. I'm warning you. Sir, the environment, global warming, your thoughts? Now there's a question. There's a question I can sink my teeth into. Would you come a little closer over here, dear, where I, where I can hear you better? I'm hungry to dig into your question. Climate change. <laughs> the climate is gone. Kaput! And when it's gone, my friends and I have a new, better climate we can download for all of Bavaria. I mean America. Otherwise, we'd be worried about this one, wouldn't we? We have grandchildren too, just like the 47. We were waiting for someone to save this environment. Some big daddy in Washington. Grr. My God, the stench. I know. I want to be president. Doesn't anybody understand that? I'm getting pretty darn tired trying to justify it, explaining it, making up reasons. I'm trying to give the right wing crazies what they want, okay? Suddenly. Now Bavaria is deciding that's too radical. I mean America, too wacky. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? How am I supposed to know what to say if I don't know what you want? For God's sake, I was a pro-choice, pro-healthcare, democratic governor. I invented it. Doesn't that tell you what you need to know? For God's sake, let's get on with it. Give me a chance to eat the economy. I can eat millions of new jobs. I mean, create. Let me eat the 47 shiftless bastards and I have the strength to work 
for the other Governor, 47. Please settle down. Don't interrupt me. Don't you hear me? Just because I'm the president doesn't mean you have to be rude. Are you trying to make a name for yourself, young lady? I ask the questions here. Come, come a little closer so I can hear you. Let me ask you something. It's, okay. it's all right. Come a little closer. 